amigos? Hey y'all. Okay, so I am doing this Pretty in Pink tutorial and I absolutely love it. This is what the eyes look like. We're just going to zoom in. They're just really bright hot pink with some sparkly hot pink cheeks and lips and this is a little more dramatic than I usually would go but it's summer and I'm going to do, I'm going to play with makeup as much as I can while I'm not in school. So, um, if you guys want to see how I did this, just keep watching. Okay, I finished one on. This is kind of, this is what it's going to look like. Um, I don't have any foundation on at all because we're going to be working with pigments today and I don't want them to fall out. So I'm going to zoom in and we're going to get started on this eye. Now. Okay. Okay, first I'm going to be taking NYX High Definition um, Eyeshadow Base. And this is just a nude color. It's going to help um, prevent creasing of the shadows and make them a little more pigmented. And I'm also going to run that right under the eye. Then I'm going to be taking Bonnie Bell's Blushing Glow in Petal Pink. And I'm just going to be applying a very, very thin layer to my eyes, more as a color base. Now I'm going to be taking Hard Candy's Kaleidoscope Baked Eyeshadow Duo in Blind Date. And we're going to be using the pink one. You're just going to put that on a shade brush and tap that right on your eye. Now we're going to be taking L'Oreal's Hip Pigment in 124 Fire. I'm just going to put some in the cap. Taking an angled brush from an e.l.f. and misting it so that we're going to use the pigment wet. Dabbing off the excess water so it doesn't pick up too much. And then getting some of the pink pigment. We're just going to put that right in our crease. Now we're just going to take a small brush, an eyeliner brush, and we're just going to be pushing the pigment right into our lash line, kind of like an eyeliner. And we're going to be dragging it down under the eye. We're going to be taking a elf blending brush and blending the color. Now we're going to be taking MAC White Frost on an Urban Decay shader brush and we're just going to put that right under the brow take a blending brush and blend those two colors together then I take a little bit more of the white frost and just dab it right on top now we're taking a baby wipe and cleaning up right under the eye where we don't have any fallout and I'm just creating a line right from the brow bone straight down to um, the bottom lash line. Now I'm taking a Palladio eyeliner in white. We're going to line the waterline. You want to do this quite a few times to make sure it's really opaque. We're just going to curl the lashes. And apply Benefit Bad Gal Lash. Now, since we aren't using eyeliner, if you just put, if you pull up on your eye, you won't get it right at the base of your um, roots of your lashes. Do both top and bottom. Now I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Diamond Lash Palette and these are some gorgeous eyelashes with a bunch of sparkles on them. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the um, Wet n Wild Ultimate Expressions and this is in Paradise Cove on a shader brush. I'm just going to be taking the white shade. This isn't in drugstores anymore, but if you find any white shade that you is that sparkly that you can use, do it. I'm just going to be putting this in my inner corner and slightly blending it up and down on the lash line. 
Okay, so I've just did my foundation, and you guys see me do my inner corner highlight. Now we are going to move on to blush, and I'm going to be using the Bonnie Bell Blush in Glow, and you've seen this in the tutorial. This is in Petal Pink, and I absolutely love this. I have been using this probably every day this month, and it is the um, the tenth. So yeah, I love this. It is um, just a cream blush, and yeah, so we are just going to. Um, Put this right where your apples are. You don't want to put them on your apples because then your face drops and it's going to make it look lower. So, we're just going to dot this on. And I take it all the way up. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And then you're just going to blend with your finger. This is a really creamy product. I mean, this is blush is really creamy, so you don't have to do... um much blending over the powder that I've already applied. I just did my regular foundation routine with this look I've done no blush. I just want I mean no um bronzer. I just wanted to keep it really light and simple. Now just to top that off, I'm going to be using my um La Femme blushes by makeup um mania.com and I'll have the link and my review below. I'm just gonna use this flamingo pink. We're just gonna dot it in there. Because this is extremely, extremely pigmented. So we're just going to kind of put that on. Now I'm going to take my Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips in Malibu Sand Pink, I mean Malibu Strip Pink Sand. And just a fluffy brush like this. This is like a two-sided thing I just got from the drugstore. We're just going to go right in those bronzy colors and dot a little bit of that right on top of our cheek to highlight it. Just to make it pop a little bit more. Not that we really need it, but. Oh. I always like a little highlight. Okay, now for lips. We're just going to take the Revlon Color Say Lip Liner. And this is in Mauve. Okay, now that you have lined your lips and filled them in, I'm going to be taking the Sleek Makeup... Oh, this is dirty. Whoops. Okay. This is the Sleek Makeup True Color in Amped. Um, it just comes like this. Let me show you what it looks like before I take the cap off. It just comes like this. I love the packaging. And it co oh, sorry. Amped? Okay. I mushed it. Well, that's what it looks like. It is a gorgeous hot hot pink you guys can tone it down a little bit because this is a pop in pink or pretty in pink or whatever the title is i haven't decided what i'm going to use it yet i'm going all out with the colors so bright pink lips. Now you guys can sharpen the edges up with a concealer brush and some um, concealer but okay that color doesn't bleed very much at all and now we're just going to be taking Dolly Pink this is a um, NYX brush on gloss this is the one from Oh, look, hot look. I say hot look. You guys can correct me or just say it however you want to, but um. This is where I tend to get more um. of the color bleeding than anything else. Okay, so this is my um. Pretty in Pink tutorial, and I had, oh, I don't, I don't have earrings in, whoops, I had absolutely so much fun making this, um, I love this look, I'm, I'm actually gonna wear this out, you guys can tone it down if you want to, I'm not, I love this, 
Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, y'all.